Good morning and welcome. This morning we're going to look at making um, some of these lovely textured books which are again are made from scrap fabric left over from um, all the sort of other organza techniques that I do. And the way we're going to go about doing that is I've selected a piece of nice cotton. Um, it's got quite a busy pattern on it and that's going to be the inside of my book. I've then selected a piece of pink felt which is similar in colour or works well with it. It could be another colour if you don't like that. I've then collected all my scrap organza together here and again I've trimmed them all up into sort of reasonable shapes because it's a lot easier to use them when they're sort of squares and they're all flat. So I ironed them first and trimmed them all up. And then what I'm going to do is I am not even going to think about how I'm placing them down. So I'm using this like a confetti or a soup, a confetti soup and I'm just picking up the colours and I'm laying them square on and slightly overlapping them onto the felt. Because the felt has a slight pile to it, it will hopefully keep my pieces of organza in one place. Make sure you do this when somebody isn't gonna burst through the door because if they do, a waft of cold air will shoot through the house and all your pieces will waft off somewhere. You'll have to start again. No sneezing, no coughing, it doesn't help. And I'm just literally keeping them square on so that I can see that I'm covering all of the felt because I don't actually want to see the felt. I'm just using that as a, a stable um, middle to my book. So I'm just going to keep going and you fill it all up with one layer and then to make sure you've got enough you start again and you can now overlap colours so that you get new colours as you put a different colour on top of another one.